In this video, we will talk about a special symmetry of the harmonic oscillator, and that is parity symmetry. Generally, if we have some operator m, and we know that the commutator of this operator m with the Hamiltonian vanishes, so m and the Hamiltonian commute, then the eigenvalues of m are conserved over time. So let's look at the parity operator pi. It acts in the following way on a function. If pi acts on a function f of x, we will get f of minus x. So let's see whether the parity operator commutes with the Hamiltonian. We have a function here, actually a function f of x, so that the operators pi and the Hamiltonian can act on something. First, let's split up the Hamiltonian in its kinetic energy part and the potential energy. The kinetic energy is proportional to the momentum squared. So this means as an operator, this is proportional to the second derivative. And as for the potential energy V, this is simply proportional to x squared for the harmonic oscillator. Now let's see what we have here. If we expand the commutators, we get these four terms. The parity operator acting on x squared will produce minus x squared. And similarly, the parity operator on the second derivative will produce a derivative with respect to minus x. But since minus x squared is the same as x squared, we can also write it like this. This means the first term will look similar like the second term, and the third term looks similar to the fourth. And we see that the commutator is zero. Now what this means is that whether a function has even or odd parity, this property does not change over time. Let's look at some eigenfunctions of the harmonic oscillator. We know their energies, so this one will be at one half h bar omega, the next one at three over two h bar omega, and so on. And the functions themselves look like this. We see that the ground state and the second excited state both have even parity. This means they are symmetric with respect to the vertical axis. And the first and third excited states, they are both odd. And the fact that the parity operator commutes with the Hamiltonian tells us that these properties do not change over time.